Whoa! Chemistry party! Let's drink the leftovers of our experiments! Oops! Bad idea! Our new video is full of wild chemistry experiments that you should definitely not try at home! This distilled water will come in handy! Add sodium hydroxide to the water. It dissolves, making a clear, intense alkaline solution. This water is dangerous. You'd never be able to guess. To test it, we'll need indicators. Phen, phenola, phenothaline. Phew, chemistry is so tough. This'll do the trick. Add a couple drops to the solution. The indicator changes color based on the pH balance of the liquid. In our case, it turns red. And this is dry ice. When you add it to water, it creates carbon dioxide. And fog. A lot of fog. The carbon dioxide breaks up and neutralizes the alkaline solution. And the phenolphthalein loses its color. You lost, sorry. But that's not the end yet. Let's try to close the solution with a cork. Three, two, one, go! The cork pops out like out of a champagne bottle. That's because of the carbon dioxide trying to get free. Whoa! down a cork. For the next experiment, we'll need a bottle of water. Heat up a nail using a torch. Poke through the lid of the bottle. And fill the bottle with lighter fluid. Now pay attention. Open the bottle, turn it over, and don't stand too close. When the two substances mix, the gas heats up, expands, and knocks the water out of the bottle. And we'll watch the jet thrusters in action. Whoa! Our bottle takes off like a NASA rocket. Launch successful. Flight path normal. Where's my bottle now? Probably landing on Mars. What happened here? Whoa! Houston, we have a problem. The next experiment is really dangerous, even for our superheroes. They're going to inflate balloons, but not with air, with hydrogen. Give me the balloon back, it's for an experiment. Here, help me instead. Pour liquid alkali, sodium hydroxide, into a flask. Wearing gloves is required for working with this substance. What's this? A tinfoil ball? A lot of tinfoil balls. Looks like someone had a lot of free time. Drop the balls into the alkali. The result is hydrogen gas, which we use to fill our balloons. The flask is overheating. Stay safe. Don't get burnt.
experiment was a success. Now what? Maybe we should have a fire show. Perfect timing to light it all up. Soak a torch in rubbing alcohol and light it on fire. Let's get lit! Whoa! I had no idea that a hydrogen balloon explosion would look like that. Just don't forget that this experiment is very dangerous. Why not go back to childhood? Let's play with bubbles. Pour dry ice into colored water. Remember, it's the carbon dioxide creating this effect, not a genie in a bottle. Soak some yarn in liquid detergent and run it over the neck of the flask. And a bubble with fog inside. Want to try again? Doesn't it look so cool? Is your life boring? Let's create a real volcano. Careful, superhero, protect your airwaves. This cute orange substance is ammonium dichromate, and it's pretty fiery. Once it's burned up, the ammonium dichromate turns into dark green ash. This is chromium oxide. Doesn't it look like a burning volcano? It worked! We'll call it Vesuvius Jr. This cocktail is called fake blood. We'll need ferric chloride. What a beautiful deep color. It looks amazing, but you'd better not drink it. And we'll fill the other glass with, what is this? Oh, it's ammonium rhodonine. Come here, my pretty. Now, let's dilute the ferric chloride with distilled water. Let's not leave the ammonium out and dilute it too. Mix it well. Now let's make chemical magic. Fill an aquarium with water. And fill syringes with our special mixtures. Then pour them into the water. Take a look at that. It really looks like blood. Quentin Tarantino would love this experiment.
But our plot is very different. It's nice and cold, and my lab partner decided to heat his drink up for some reason. Hang on, is he heating a metal can with a blowtorch? He dips the hot can into cold water. It's all twisted up. The metal couldn't withstand the changes in temperature and pressure. Want to bring me another can as a sacrifice of science? Go ahead, I'm all done. Did you like our video? Then let us know in the comments which experiment was the most interesting. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and click on the bell so you never miss a fascinating video from Woe.